And today I'm here to announce that uh, we have formed the taxpayers to recall Robert Wirch, which means that this is the formal kickoff for the Recall Robert Wirch campaign. So from now, we have 60 days in order to compile about 18,000 signatures. And if we accomplish this feat, then that means that there will be a special recall election for Senator Robert Wirch. With over 300 local volunteers, we're taking this action simply because Senator Wirch has let his constituents down. For nine days now, or eight days now, he has chosen not to fill his seat in the state senate in Madison. To his constituents, this is simply unacceptable. And so as a result, we are taking this action to have him recall. Yes? How many people actually are in Senator Worsh's district? Um, actually, I, I, have to, I don't know how many. Um, <laughs> but um, I have an idea. But this, this, the 18,000 signatures is a, is a large task, and, and it should be. Uh, anytime you have a recall, uh, you know, it's 25 percent. The, the rules are that the, the number of signatures are 25 percent, in this case, of the people who voted in the governor's election in 2010 that were within the district. And that, it's, a high, it's a high standard, and it should be for a recall. Um, this is a part of the democratic process that, that should be an exceptional part of the democratic process. Um, necessarily so. Uh, but when, when extraordinary circumstances occur and citizens feel they need to rise up in order to have someone recalled, then we also have that avenue in order to do it, and, and so I appreciate the law in this country. You made this announcement the other day that you were looking into this. Did you expect to make the decision to do it this quickly? I knew, I did know, yes, I did. I, I, in fact, I had mentioned to some members of the press that I expected actually to make the decision by Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, so we're just a, a couple of days late from that. Um, so yeah, I wanted, we wanted to make the decision quickly because we felt that you know, this, the timing is, a, is very important. So we did expect to make the decision very quickly. And what has surprised me is that with very little publicity and very little fanfare, uh, we, have, we have accumulated over 300 volunteers. That, that honestly, is, is just incredible to me. That, and, and when we look at this, these are people from outside of, the, of District 22. These are people from within District 22 who are volunteering to be part of it. What's also interesting to me about the makeup of our constituents is that they come from, from across the political spectrum. These aren't, these aren't people of all one political spectrum. They aren't representatives of one political party. Um, they're not re representatives of one particular perspective on the budget repair bill. Uh, so that's what's very fascinating to me. This, this is a recall effort that is actually, in very many ways, unifying the citizens of, of Senate District 22 from across the spectrum because we're all upset that our senator is not on the job. And that's what this is about. He has chosen to walk off the job. And so as a result, we're taking this action. He's been off the job. I was earlier willing to uh, maybe think about not following through on the recall if he would have come back earlier to the job. I, I, I was willing to do that. In fact, I again told several members of the press that I would listen to what he had to say for the reasons for leaving. Obviously we know the main reason was so he could avoid taking a vote, but I don't think that's adequate. I would have to hear other reasons why he left, uh, left his seat, uh, as well as an apology to his constituents. I, I, I strongly feel that he owes his constituents a deep apology for not being in the state senate right now, particularly during this time in Madison. Right now, we're, we're experiencing a real chasm and schism between citizens of the state. And, uh, and this is a real important thing. The vote on this particular bill, on this particular issue, is going to come down. Whatever way it comes down, I don't know. But it makes no difference. Because right now, the fact that the vote hasn't been taken has created and, and contributed to, to divide within the people of Wisconsin. By taking a vote, it allows us as people to come together a little bit and start a healing process over, this, over what we've experienced. And so a vote on the bill is extremely important just from, a, just from that perspective, just for the citizenry of Wisconsin. So to me, the senators who are AWOL, particularly Senator Wirch, it is a, it is a dereliction of duty and very, and very irresponsible to not, not be in Madison and take this vote. And it hurts all of us. All, all of Wisconsin is hurt as a result. This has nothing to do with a candidate whatsoever. Nothing. This is not about a candidate. I, I don't know of a candidate. There is no candidate, to my knowledge, that has said, oh boy, this, this gives me an opportunity to run. 
uh, there, this is, uh, you know, it, there's, there's just no candidate, and it's not about a candidate. It is truly about Senator Wirtz not being in the state Senate. In I, would, I would doubt that if we had the signatures that we would have a problem with candidates. Okay. Um, I, you know, and again, we all know he's a Democrat. I, I would think there might be some Democrats that would uh, look at the opportunity to run against him. And actually, in that election, as many people as want to run can run, provided they, they fill their petitions out and, and are eligible to run. They may, they may run in that election.